everyone, here I am again. I'm Emmy, and Theo is going to cut my long, long hair, which I didn't even blow dry this morning. So it's really long, and uh, there's not really there's shape in it. Oh, today, the Netherlands are windy today. Yeah, windy today. And today there was someone who said, Whoa, your hair looks really nice. And I was like, Ooh, <laughs> Thanks, but I really need to go to Theo. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn so you can see what my current hairstyle looks like. And I'm gonna let myself surprise by Theo. Okay, let's start on you. Hello friends on YouTube. Emmy's back to model for me. Now I start as always with protection. Made photos in front so you see them at the back of the video. I worked all day so it's after my work. <laughs> I really like to be a hairdresser so it's not a problem. And I really love Emmy. <laughs> I've been so much looking forward to come today. Me too. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> now, I watched at Emmy's hair and I think this is more a winter hairstyle. So what I'm going to do is gonna watch at the beautiful line she has, gonna make this line a lot higher, gonna work it more out and I'm gonna work in contrast colors, so I'm gonna work in black and white. So that's what I'm going to do. Start by wetting the hair. Then I set out the line where I'm gonna work on. Told you gonna work on this line so I set it out in the upper lines still a little bit rest over of a color in the betweens and it's a bit golden and a bit greenies but that are rest colors yeah from swimming and stuff yeah and, and he swims a lot yeah and not using the proper um, hairspray protections yeah now I told you gonna part this so I part the upper hair aside so you can see the line where I like to work on. So my baseline will be from this turning into here. Here will be a blood line. So it lays just on the ear. Still asymmetrical, but a lot, a lot shorter than normally. And we're going high up on the other side. Starting on the side, taking a nice sharp scissor. And set out the first line just above the ear, what I told you. Pull the ear to the front, get rid of the small hairs behind the ears. Get rid of the fine hairs. So now I have a baseline like this. Take a new line on it. Didn't cut into the under hairs. So here I just go in, in the upper line, go in, don't go deep in, I can always correct that line. And you can see it's a nice sharp scissor because the hairs don't slip away. And she has fine hairs. So normally when you have fine hairs, mostly they slip out of your system. They can get a new line on it. And now you can see the fold what I told you about. Now you can see the line what I told you. So go in on that line. So you get a perfect fold to the inside. This line is about uh, two millimeters longer than the line beneath it. So that's why I get a perfect fall on the hairs. But still a blood line. Give it the rounding that it has around the ear. So copy the natural lines. Go in. I work a little bit down so I get a shape and work till I get no hair left on this side to cut. Who's met kind? Ja, goed. Ja, goed. Over lang haar gesproken. Die had lang haar. Ja, dat ook. Ik zou zo'n foto laten zien. Die heeft nu zo lang aan echt een staart kunnen maken dat alles er zo wat in blijft zitten. Niet te lang wachten we naar de kapper gaan met zijn kind. Oh, dan gaat hij niet meer. Nee, nou ja, hij. Uh, dat is het punt. Hij <laughs> wilde niet. 
Ik vind lange haar ook wel leuk nu. Ik heb vroeg zo strak zijn. Ik zeg, ben je ook een keer naar de kapper? Ja, zegt hij. Nou, dat kunnen we een keer doen. En als je dan bent, dan begint hij weer te huilen. Ja, denk ik het. Maar ik vind eigenlijk het lange haar wel leuk. Nu ben ja, ik dat is ook leuk. Dat is ik vind het belangrijkste dat kinderen kinderen blijven. Ja. Ze zijn zo vlug oud. Daarom. En weet je, hij heeft nu wel een mooi lange haar. En dan wil hij af en toe een staart en af en toe niet. En uh, hij had nou een mooie prinsessenjurk. En die vindt okay. hij zo leuk. Nou, lekker mee paraderen. Leuk. Ja. Ja, hij gaat echt goed. Maar die is nu bij de 2,5. Ja, dat gaat hard hè. Lang end hoor. Dat klopt Lange wel. benen. Ah, schuif het er allemaal in. Nee. Ja. In the meantime, we talk Dutch to each other. Talking about a child. But he has long, long legs. Yeah. And I told Emmy that I have short legs. <laughs> but I need to be a hairdresser. Because our bodies are the same length, but yeah, she has beautiful long legs. And I have short, <laughs> but strong legs. And that's the most important thing. Yeah. I stand all day. Yeah. I was just telling that my son has beautiful long hair at the moment. He doesn't want to go to uh, Theo. Ah. Oh well, his choice. What I told you, I'm gonna work a little bit to the center line. So go stand in the center line and work this line a little bit down. So I can also shape in this line. Have to be aware there's a crown, so don't force anything, just let the hair hang down. So it get a nice natural shape. Show you that from the other side. Use the beautiful roundness of a skull. This is the same line as the chin line. And in the opposite line, of course, the eyebrow line. This I do as last. Wet hairs. What I told you, I want to have a bit asymmetrical line. But I want also to get high up. So I make a sharp line, not going deep in. Just in the upper hairs. So I can create a beautiful new line. And where I see where the fold goes in, I go in. So this is my new baseline. So now I can work the other lines out. To get me some water. And then I saw of course the shape I create. So I'm going to create an extra shape into it. Just below the skull bone. And here I can play with the colors afterwards. Let this line travel up slightly and slowly. The other lines just clean. Start scissor of comb and then I go to my clipper. Now I see a lot of comments from America that in the Netherlands uh, girls look like men with short hair. I think uh, we are a bit different than American people. I really like America, I've been to America. Uh, I really love the people, but yeah, I think our hairstyles are a little bit more modern and our women are also a little bit more, uh, yeah, more powerful. So I think for the Dutch people it's normal to have a little bit shorter hair. But in America I know when you like to have long hair, please have long hair. But don't comment on people who like to have short hair. Really choose that, so they want to have this, and it's their head, their personality, their thing. So it's not mine. Thing. I wouldn't even like to have long hair. No, that wouldn't be me. <laughs> well, some days wearing a wig, but now oh, we can make a photo for them who like you with <laughs> long hair afterwards. Yeah, and give you a wig on. Uh, no, but I really like the short hair. Yeah, but for those who want to see you with long hair, maybe. Yeah. Yeah? We can put your wig on. You look completely different. Haha, uh -huh. wiggy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I work till I get on the line I just cut. 
I would have thought you'll work this line out in color. First, I start when I'm ready with cutting with bleaching and then color in that line. Put my blade to the back. Use my clipper as a clipper comb. Clean the neckline of all the hairs we don't need. Leaning on the skin and go over the control line. Working out the line of cutting. Soften the overflow. Is it lekker? Yeah. Yeah. Clean the neckline of all the small hairs. Don't force on the skin, you still have to bleach the hairs. Just be gentle on the skin. Make the line perfect and strong. Therefore this clipper is really wonderful. It's a bow clipper. Like this. Mooi zacht is ja? Ja. Zo, komt het dit part. Coming in on the lines of the right side. Make it a nice shot. The last time it was short, so the hair grows. Yeah. Yeah, it's also because spring is now coming, and I think my hair always grows a bit faster. Spe yeah, no more. Because when temperatures get higher, the hairs grow faster. Yeah. Well, not that the temperatures are very high at the moment. No, they are it's not. Freaking cold. Well, if you ask me. Yeah, it's uh, more autumn than spring. Yeah, it's also because like two weeks ago we had around, we had even a day of like 24, 25 degrees yeah. with sun and it was lovely and now this week it was 6 degrees again <laughs> and windy. Uh, I'm still in charge of uh, the weather. Yeah. So we cannot do anything about it. April with what you will, eh? April Absolute. does his own thing. It's the saying in Dutch. Does whatever it wants. And then we all have to lay an egg. The month after that. <laughs> a lot of yeah, well, Dutch people bored. never will happen, happen to a lot of Dutch people to lay an egg. I don't know. But you have a lot of Dutch people that look like eggs. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> to my fine clipper again. Clean also on this side. The facial lines. Nice rounding around the ear. Your beautiful ears are. I mean, have real beautiful ears. <laughs> so now I'll correct the line and then I can color the lines. In the hairs. Lay all the hairs in the natural fall. It's an asymmetrical line, so. And Emmy has not the thickest hair, so I want to get the most volume out of it on top that I can. This is just by play with the hairs and with the natural folds. Coming to the sides, and this I lay in the natural shapes. So gently, not forcing anything. Don't pull on the hairs. Just gently lay them in to the wonderful fold I created. I'm a creator. Simulator, alligator. Where was that ook weer van? See you later, alligator. Yeah, I lost that one. I don't know. Is it I don't a know notepad? Either. Do you know? Well, it's the, what she was saying, but I think it comes from like... From an alligator? Yeah, something like yeah. that. Throw it out. No. Yeah. I think it actually goes back to World War II or something. Mm, okay. 
That's a long time ago. Yeah. Crocodile dumb. Ah. Heel anders, hè? Ja, yeah, echt. Fine tuning the lights. But I told you. Here is a crown area, so there I stay away off because it lays in the natural lines. And now I'm going to bend the hairs a little bit in and just correct the line a bit. So take every time very small parts, turn them in, hold my fingers into the line, don't force anything. Just give them a slight broadening, that's all they need. Press up. Watch its shape. Take off only the ends. So I have all the dry ends off. And I'm certain that I have everywhere the same length. Take up in the line of falling. So watch into the hairs which way they go. And I copy that. Now for Emmy I make a bleach with uh, 30 volume with extra protection in because she has fine hair. I know this but I also know how to bleach her hair the most beautiful <laughs> and the best way. Years and years of experience. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people who watch you on YouTube know this by now. <laughs> Fine tune the line on the back a bit, not much. Now I have less light on the back, so that's why I do this without you seeing things. So I need a little bit of shadow of the lighting. For so far the cut is like this. Different lines. So now I'm gonna bleach your hair and afterwards filling in the rest. Bleach, make, make a photo of the bleach into the video, so right now, so you can see what bleach I made. Told you I did it with uh, 30 volume, 9%. The width of the line. It really protects the hairs against all the aggressive things that are in the products. But it protects also the skin, of course. Maar voor Puk, ik heb dan weer een thermische schaar, dus heb ik dus voor jou haar, dus dat wel. Ja. En dan ben ik met de thermische schaar die ik weer heb, want hier heb ik dus de Jaguar thermische schaar liggen. Dan ben ik de Duitse fabrikant mee aan het plagen. Want? Nou, wij hebben nog steeds vijf apparaten daar liggen waar nog steeds niks van terugkomt. Oh. Uh, ze staan nog steeds online, maar ze verkopen ze niet. Oh. Dus ik zeg ook in mijn filmpje iedere keer dat je eigenlijk het moet gaan zeuren bij de fabrikant als je er een wil hebben. <laughs> maar dat ze wel een slechte service hebben. Ja. Ja. Maar een thermisch knippen dat maakt zo'n verschil. Ja, zeker. Maar die staan er nog steeds, die moeten gerepareerd worden. Ja. En hoe lang heb je ze daar al staan? Drie jaar. Oh, dat kan. Vier niet. jaar voor de corona. Dat kan toch niet? Ja. En is het zo druk? Nee, ze hadden. In coronatijd was zogenaamd geen onderdelen. Nou, dat kan nog. Ja. Nou, inmiddels is corona toch al lang verleden tijd. Ja. Maar toen kwam het zo eens geen afleggen. Daar is het. En nou is de oorlog dus. Dat is het. Nou, ik heb all the on. Only this part not. But that has a reason. Neem een carton wigs around it. This I do to protect the plastic foil. Uh, that can lay on the skin and the bleach, creating a lot of warmth. To, although this process is real cool, this cool getting blood. Yo, yo, cool. Never dance, do anything, so I don't smell anything of it. No, that's true. The plastic foil uh, makes sure that it doesn't uh, dry out the bleach. That's also important. The bleach, when it dries out, it's just a powder, so it doesn't work. And the conditioner keeps it also very smooth. So it's always a bit moist. I will control this in 20 minutes and tell you how long this took. So don't go away. We'll be back. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs>
pack from uh, coloring with uh, gel I glued uh, aluminium foil on Emmy's head. I do to work on this. Of course I told you I'm gonna work in uh, two colors and the color I'm gonna work in is the black. I don't want the black into the blonde so I have to be aware of that of course. So I glued this on the hairs, take my black of kid, it's a zero, put it on the back, lay it on the foil. Color is with 6%, uh, that's 20 volume. And the beautiful thing of the kitten colors is that they stay black for, forever because Emmy swims a lot. And this is one of the colors yeah. that just stays in the hairs, even on blonde hairs. Yeah. Didn't even turn slightly brownish. And with it just ultra fine line. Leaving a blonde line at the front. Make sure the hairs lay on the foil. For those who like to get into the gray colors, so you take one part of one and 10 parts of 10 and then you have a grey colour. The front I protect with carton wick then I go to the side. This gives an extra dimension to the line, of course. And connect the side to the same line. And stay breathing, because the, when you target this uh, perfect, you have to stay breathing, otherwise you die. <laughs> Push the color real deep in, making sure you touch everything in the underlines. When you rinse this out, you have to rinse out very fast. So take a lot of water. Don't start rinsing. Just water it and just water, water, water. And don't touch it with your hands. If you touch it with your hands, you get a smoothie, uh, slightly bluish line. I don't want this to get into each other. Now this has to stay in the hairs for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna wait for that. Still don't have any coffee so... <laughs> oh, we're gonna have a coffee. Yes, we're gonna have a coffee. Cover this also a bit. Not too much, just on the line. So it stays on the line. So we'll be back. <laughs> like. Hello friends on YouTube. Now after 25 minutes rinse it out, now it's gonna use uh, a root effect. This gives a lot of volume to her hair. Spray. No yellow of attitude. This gives the color even a cooler color and a more exciting, nah. sexy effect. I really like the smell of this product. Mm -hmm. It's a product of attitude. Blurring with a medium light brush. Starting in the back and building up. It's all very close. Kind of a little bit of a lesson. 
Ja. Maar ik ben heel zwart van. Hè? Ze is zwart. Ja. Heel zwart. Ja. So far, blow drying. On Emmy, I used a little bit of golden oil of Lanza, not too much because uh, it don't have to be greasy. But it brings out a beautiful shine on hair. And because this studio has a bit dry uh, air around us, the hairs can be a little bit static. Sometimes I get very exciting. <laughs> I thank Emmy for being my well. I thank you for watching. She will turn around to show the end result and we see each other next video. Bye bye. I'm gonna turn. Thank you, Theo. Mooi ja. And Theo is going to cut my long, long hair, which I didn't even blow dry this morning. So it's really long and uh, there's not really. There's shit.